Hey everyone, this is Ali from and today we are going to discuss about how to create a decentralized application. Before discussing about how to create a decentralized application, we will discuss about what is a decentralized application. A decentralized application is deployed on the blockchain and as we know blockchain has different nodes. For example, if we talk about Binance Smart Chain, it has about 21 nodes and if we talk about Ethereum, it has about 6,000 nodes and if we talk about Bitcoin, it has about 11,000 nodes. So once we deploy a smart contract, it is deployed on all the nodes in a blockchain. So it is decentralized. So and it is immutable. Once we deploy our smart contract on the blockchain, we cannot make any changes in the smart contract. And once we make a transaction in the smart contract, we cannot make any changes in the transactions also like a like traditional databases we can make changes in the in the databases and it has update and delete query but this is not the case with blockchain the blockchain doesn't have the update and delete query we cannot delete the data in the blockchain and we cannot update it and it helps us in security and to achieve privacy so here are the tools we will use for developing a decentralized application the first one is Chain IDE, which is a cloud-based IDE and supports multiple blockchains such as Ethereum blockchain, Binance Smart Chain, Hyperledger Fabric and many other consortium and public blockchains. The other one is Metamask that is a digital wallet for Web3 that will be used for when we deploy our smart contract on the blockchain and when we make transactions to the deployed smart contract. So here is the programming language that we will use for writing down the smart contract that is Solidity. There are different other programming languages also for writing down a smart contract such as C Sharp and many others. But Solidity is the most commonly used programming language for writing down smart contract. So we will use Solidity. So let's, uh, oh sorry. Why we deploy our smart contract on the blockchain as I already discussed we can achieve immutability like it cannot be changed the transactions cannot be changed and there is no single point of failure like centralized databases there is a just single point of failure and there are chances of losing data our important data and like after deploying on the blockchain we can get security so let's start about creating our decentralized application so we go to chain id here we will search chain IDE. Here we have chain IDE which is a cloud based IDE and it supports multiple blockchains. As we can see here Ethereum blockchain and IOST blockchain, Fisco Bicos blockchain, Ant OC blockchain and here is a Binance Smart Chain and there are many other consortium and public blockchains. So we will use Ethereum blockchain as it is the very important blockchain and very famous blockchain so we will use blockchain for this tutorial to create a decentralized application so let's move forward here we choose ethereum blockchain we have different options we can uh, choose blank template and we can choose the already built-in templates or we have another option like we can import our project from the github also if we want to import from the github so we will choose here the simple storage smart contract to store the data on the blockchain and then retrieve the data from the blockchain so here it is loading now and here we can see our smart contract here we have functionalities to store the data on the blockchain here we have a function that stores unsigned integers uh, unsigned integer on the blockchain and here is a function to retrieve the stored information on the blockchain so the first step is to write down the smart contract and the second one is to compile if we if you want to change anything in this smart contract you can make changes for example if you want to store your your name also so you can store your name also and if you want to store you store your address you can store your address also so here for example we can store the address setting it should be address keyword yeah 
and if we want to store the address and here we want to input the name also so here we input the name number and address here we can say the number is the id id for example here we change it we call it id yeah so here we have name and here we call it name so here we are assigning the values that we input and here is address uh, here yeah here it should be like this address no it should be because address is a reserved keyword so we cannot use the reserved keywords so we will use this and if we use this so now we input three values the first one is id the second one is name and the third one is address so we will change here also number yeah here yeah, so okay so we wanna in uh, output also these values so we will make changes in the output function also so before we were just retrieving only one value so here we are retrieving three values so here we change it according to the yeah here there is a mistake so now it is fine so the next step is if we wanna unsign it and set in we wanna return these values so we will return through parameters set in memory so we have one id and one name and address the id is unsigned integers and the name and address is string so we will compile it if we have compiler so here we need to check like we have defined the pragma like we have defined the compiler version and we need to check the compiler version should be equal to these values in between these values so we check these compiler version and we press the compiler version and check if there is any problem with the smart contract or no if there is any problem or error with the smart contract it would be shown in the output console yeah we have some error here so we will see what is the problem here string address oh sorry here we need to use string memory string memory keyword here also string memory uh, yeah like this so we compile it save it with control c s and we compile it again so let's see now if it is compiled successfully or not yeah now it is compiled successfully and we get an abi code and byte code so this will be used in the next episode when we will interact using html page and javascript and web3 so here we deploy our smart contract so before we deploy our smart contract we need to have meta meta mask so if you don't have meta mask we you can go here and check for the meta mask download it from here and you can check your device i am using chrome so i will install it for the chrome but i have already installed it i am just showing you in case if if you don't have so here i already have so if i don't have then i will install it and if you have wallet you can just uh, login like you can just add your wallet and if you don't have you will have to create your wallet and then you need to have some dummy ethers in your wallet you can choose any of the test network there are different test networks for the metamask here we can see here i will log in first
yeah now i have logged in and here we can see there are different test networks robston test network kovan test network ringway test network and gorilla test network so recently i have tried ringway test network is not working very oh sorry kovan network kovan test network is not working very properly so i will choose kovan oh sorry ringway test network here so I have already some ethers in my wallet and if you don't have just simply click here and get ethers and go to crypto faucet and before that you need to go to your twitter account and copy your metamask wallet address from here here you can copy your metamask wallet address and here you need to paste your digital address yeah here you need to tweet it then you need to copy the link of this from here yeah from here maybe later you can delete it yeah or no maybe later once you get the ethers then you can delete it now you will yeah now we have got maybe now we can delete it here yeah. so here we check either we got it or not so we i had 17.97 already and we refresh it or change it to the again and we check how many i have now i have chosen the rank test network so we can see now i have 25.47 it is it means I got and now we deploy our smart contract so here we need to give some gas fee for example we choose 25 and here is the gas fee unit GWA, and we press the compile button but before compiling oh sorry before deploying we need to connect our metamask wallet to the chain IDE like this way we need to click here and now for example I show you again click here and then select injected web3 provider and here we will choose metamask if we have like install our metamask it would be shown here and we will simply click here to deploy yeah so here we can see that 25 gwa is equal to 0.075 ethers and here we press the confirm button to deploy our smart contract and we can check here once our deploy, uh, smart contract is deployed yeah we can see like here our smart contract is deployed on the blockchain not deployed yet but the transaction is going on it will take some time and later it would be deployed yeah now we can see it is successful and here is my digital wallet address and here is the contract address so here we can check our smart contract is deployed on the blockchain and now we can make transactions to the deployed smart contract from the interactive panel of the chain ide here here we have two functions one is to store values and the one is to retrieve values from the blockchain here we enter the id and here we enter the name and here we address enter the address so here I press the submit bug function and here I already told you we need to pay some transaction fee whenever we need to make some transactions to the deployed smart contract and here we store this value and here we get the values it is not stored yet and now it is stored and here if we, if we press the button we can get the values here we can see we have got the values from the blockchain so that is our first decentralized application so that is all for today's section if you have any confusion or if you have any question feel free to ask me thank you so much have a good day